So the website that you have to go to to log into the matrix is corporate.onekeymls.com. I'm going to go ahead and hit log in. All right. You have to make sure you have your username and password. If you haven't already made an, a payment to MLS, please give them a call to um, go over your dues and make a payment. Then they will basically grant you access to the one key. All right. So um, and as you can see, when you log in, there's a bunch of different um, links here for you that you can you know take a look at uh legal tips education so if you need to do um continuing ed all of that stuff is right here so i'm not going to focus on that today what i am focused on today is the matrix and searching in the matrix right so when you log into the matrix the matrix it is similar to stratus it's very very similar to stratus when you go in you'll notice you'll be on the dashboard and on the dashboard you have all of the shortcuts and you can actually customize a dashboard by just going right here hitting edit then you can actually customize a dashboard based on what you would like to see all right similar to stratus like you could simply go right here and um, put in the um, mls number for property and pull it right up in the quick search right and you also have your external links Right, all of the links that um, we have access to on the uh, one key platform. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go up to the matrix area and we're going to go to the search area. Right. What we need to do here is we need to be clear on what it is that we're actually searching for. In this case, we are searching for a residential property, but you have to understand that residential um, is one to four family. So in this case, right, this is residential. This means single family. So if you notice here, you know, single family, condo, co-op, that's the way they're classifying it. And residential income producing properties are two to four families. This is the way they classify it. If you're searching for land, you would click here. If you're searching for commercial, you would click here. If you want to look up open houses, you would click here. But today, what we're going to be searching for is a single family home for a client. So we're going to hit residential. All right. So what we're going to do is go right here to this section. You see where it says um, status, right? I need to make sure that the status is active if I am searching for properties that are on the market. Very, very crucial that everybody understands that. If you leave this unchecked and you do your search, it's just going to pull up all these different categories. So you want to make sure you check off active. The next thing I want to do is make sure I identify exactly what it is that I'm looking for, which is single family residence. OK, if not, it's going to send you a mixture of all these properties, mobile homes, um, townhouses. If these properties are in your market, it's just going to send you a mix, um, a list like this and just send it over to you. All right. So first thing I want to do is identify um you know the pricing right what is it that uh um, i'm looking for as far as with the pricing okay so i'm looking for something between 550 and 685 right that's what the client can go up to so to put the range i have to do 550 to 685 it already has the zeros here you have to make sure you check this off so it knows 550 to 550,000 to 685,000. All right, guys. And if you haven't already subscribed here, guys, please make sure you subscribe. All right. So now we have the price range in. Now, let's just say, you know, I just wanted to search for everything above 550. So I can go right here, hit the plus sign, and then it's going to find everything above 550. You see, it's 5,000. So this means everything above 550. If I put the minus sign, so I put 550 minus. So it means everything above, everything below 550,000. Okay, so that's what that what that's what that means. So I'm going to continue with my range, uh, 550 to 685. Um, right here, this is for. Now I'm going to go over to financial. This right here is for, you know, homeowners associations if they have homeowner associations, et cetera, right? 
um, you check off yes or no. This is if there's any additional fees, right? If there's any fees, short sales, REOs, you will put those things in here um, to basically filter, all right? Um, the estimated maintenance, you know, when it comes to co-op, etc. cetera. Um, is it paid annually, monthly, all that stuff you can really um, add in there. So what I'm going to do right now is hit uh three three bedrooms plus so when i do three bedrooms plus it's the same idea i need three bedrooms or more okay so if i do three bedrooms minus so i'm looking for um i don't want anything over three bedrooms if i if i do three minus so i'm going to do three plus then i am going to do two bathrooms plus right then you have your options here for half bath and all that stuff, um, uh, live up the living uh, livable square footage, right? Living uh, square footage. You can also add all that here, the square footage of the home. I'm not going to get too much into that, right? So what we're going to do right now is we can search by county. Let's just say I wanted to put in Nassau or Suffolk. I can put in Nassau or Suffolk, and you see it, there's 540 homes that are available. I can also even search by town, right? So by the, the post office, uh, where the local post office is located. So if I wanted to do Uniondale, Hempstead, right, Freeport, right? So that's now you see it brought it down to 50. So it's basically, um, you know, working with my filters, and making sure that um, you know it's checking for everything, just the same way Stratus would do. Uh, this is just the way to do it in Matrix, right? So um, if I wanted to put other criteria in here, um, like features, I wanted like a full basement, right? Watch this. When I put basement, yes, sometimes the agents don't update the MLS the right way, and when you put basement, yes, so it only brought it it brought it down to three. So I just leave this blank and I do my filters right here when it comes to basement, right? So watch this. So they're saying that there is no uh, basement. So when I do full finished basement, before it was giving me three when I put basement, yes. But when I do my filters here, um, I'm getting 37. So I like to do my basement um, filters right here, basement features, and I leave this blank because sometimes agents don't necessarily put that the property has a basement. So you might be cutting out uh, properties that you can show, right? Um, when, you know, is this a lot that, that you can do here? If you notice, it did not have taxes here. So what I can do is add an additional field, right? So I'm going to look for tax, right? So if the customer has a tax requirement, usually they do, because when they do the pre-approval, they do it based on purchase price and taxes. So what I would do is hit add, right? So I added it there, okay? Um, so it's there. So when I go back to my listing, it will be actually on um, the listing, right? Um, it will be actually on the listing when I go back as far as taxes right here. So if the taxes are 15,000, right? It's the same thing. Um, right. I could just put in the annual taxes, etc., and it will bring it up. All right. So the next thing I want to do guys is, um, hit results, right? So now we can just get to our results. It brings you to a page like this. Um, you can now click the listing like this. It gives you a breakdown. Um, you can go from, um, you know, least to greatest, right, in, in the opposite direction, right, um, greatest to least, right, whatever it is. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go right here and click the, the property. When you click the property, everything is self-explanatory. Um, what has actually a, um, been added here, which has been here for a while, but it just has its own page now, uh, you can actually look up the taxes. It shows you the actual tax records the photos, the history, um, 
the parcel map, okay, um, the flood map, right? So MLS is actually giving us a lot of information now to help our clients, right? So I used to, ha I used to have agents contact me all the time. Hey, how do I know if this property is in a flood zone, right? So we see that it's in the X zone. It's not in a flood zone. It also gives you the foreclosure information if there's open houses happening, right? So let's get back here. All right, so we can really just kind of dive in here. If we click here, it brings up the pictures, or we could just click and go through, or we could click here, and it actually brings up all the pictures of the properties, right? So this is the public remarks. So when you know the agent puts this online, this property online, this is what goes to like all the different partner websites, Zillow, Realtor.com, etc. So as I scroll down. I can actually see the brokerage information, see all the information uh, pertaining to the listing. Okay, um, so that's that. You know, if I if I want to also save, if I want to switch screens, right? Because a lot of people get stuck on this screen. I can do agent single line, right, and it brings it back up in a single line. If I wanted to email this out to a customer, I just choose. These are a couple of properties. I hit email, and then what it's going to do is email the properties, and I hit send. I just put in the client's information. It's probably going to have me create a contact. I can also BCC someone. I can also text the link as well. Um, then I hit send. You should also put an email signature. I have to update my email signature, but you can put that here. So let me cancel that. Um, and then if you wanted to save this client on a cut on a uh, a prospect search um, that's something I'm, I'm gonna actually do another training on on how to do a prospect search but from this screen you can actually save it on a prospect search um, all right so that's pretty much it guys um, you have all the information here to make a lot of money right um, you understand the matrix system so this uh, I appreciate all of you guys for taking the time out to watch make sure you subscribe to my channel my name is Cash Wayne Campbell. I see you guys on the beaches of the world and definitely at the bank. And make sure you check out Landmark Elite Homes. If you're looking for a new brokerage, make sure you check out our brokerage. Thank you, guys.